In this tutorial, we will learn more things regarding the light table and the in-betweens in TV Paint. So here I have a project where key images, key animation have been drawn. But it's not fluent enough. So to create some in-betweens, I have the possibility, for example, let's imagine I would like to create an in-between between these two drawings. In TV Paint, we have two interesting features that can be enabled or disabled just here. This one is called the Auto Break, and this one is called the Auto Create. Auto Break has the great power to break an instance into two instances. So, for example, here I have a big instance with six images inside. And if I draw anything, like a cross, here my instance is broken. That's how it works. Of course, I don't want to uh, draw such a squiggle, and I don't want to keep this a drawing. I would like to have a fresh, new instance without anything inside, in order to in between these two drawings. So, I will hit the little skull button just here, I will use, or I will use a shortcut backspace to do so. So now I have a new fresh image between the two drawings. And now I would like to make the in-between, so it's much better to use the light table. Light table that can be enabled just by hitting this little dark button under the build icon. Here in the light table we can see many other drawings and we can see the following one, these drawings. So to change this behavior I will change the light table parameter. To do so I have several possibilities. I can click on this little light bulb and use the light table parameters or I can click here on this big light bulb icon or I can go into Windows, Animation, Light Table. So these are the Light Table parameters. Um, so first of all, I will change the different instances that I want to see by transparency. So by default, it's the five previous images. And here I just want to see the last one. Okay. And I would like to see the following images, especially the following one, just the one after can see eventually more. To do so, I just have to click on the different numbers. So just the previous one and the following one, it's quite enough. Anyway, it's still hard to uh, know which image is the previous one and which one is the following one. So I will change the color of the display. To do so, I click on this little image menu and I will use color. And so the previous image is now green, and I will do the same for the following images, color, and then it's turned into purple. To change the color, I can click on the little color square just here, and pick up any other color of my choice. Like this. So now I can start to draw my in between, not in green, but in black. When you're starting with the in-between process, sometimes you need to move the images. Uh, I mean, to talk traditionally, when you're animating on paper, sometimes you need to, um, to move the paper, the paper sheets out of the peg bar. The peg bar is this little bar that all the paper sheets together. 
So when you need, for example, to take the paper out of the pegs and make it turn or change its place, for example, because you need to, to redraw and keep the good proportion of a head, of a arm, or, I mean, just keeping the good expression of the face. Little explanation here. So here I have, let's imagine it's, uh, we have paper sheets, so we have a drawing with a guy like this, and we have a paper where the guy is like this. Image one, image two. And traditionally, we take the paper out of the peg bar and we turn and helped with the light table we can then start to draw the guy because they are at the same place and so we can focus on the expression of the character here for example i will do the same with this face so to enable this feature i call the out of pegs i will click on the little corresponding dot just below so here I have a little HUD, a little handle that appears. It takes by default the whole size of the drawing space. So I can move the drawing like this. I can also use the X and Y options like this. You can also rotate. You can also rescale your your drawing. And then you can do the same for the other image. And so, for example, if you have an animation with a very hard expression between two characters, it's then much easier to take the expression between both. Like this. And of course, when you're using the out of peg, you're not changing for real the position or the size of the drawings of the instances. If I disable the light table, the drawings are still at the right place. If you don't need the light table or the, the out of field anymore, you can make a right click on the little O like this and reset it. Or you can just hit the, um, the cross just here and it will move everything in a simple click. Last words about the light table. You can, as I said, you can enable several images. And if necessary, you can also change the opacity level of e drawings. By default, they are linked together, and if you don't like it, you can click on Instances and don't link the sliders, and so each one will be individual 